Well, howdy y'all. This is Mike with Fly All Season. And as some of you may know, I am not a pro fly tire and I am not a guide. <laughs> I'm just some guy. But when you fly all season, you gotta tie all season as well. Every week brings a new adventure and every adventure brings a new challenge. And to chase that bite, we gotta have the right flies in our box. So let's take it right now to the vise and see what's cooking up for this week's adventure. Those of you out there who know me, you know that I am a firm believer of tying flies that can imitate a wide range of bugs rather than one specific thing. And that is why I think this Rainbow Warrior, the base design, is goaded. It is one of the best fly designs because it can represent nothing and everything all at once. And in buggy water, you know I've got more than a few of these in my box. And if you're new to the whole fly tying game, don't be afraid. This is an extremely easy pattern. And I'll say this, the fish sure seem to like them and I think you'll like them too. Now with anything in fly fishing, I always preach. You can use whatever brand you want. You can use whatever hook style you need. In my opinion, this jig style hook it is so awesome. I have used this almost exclusively paired with a tungsten bead for the past three or four years. And I've been really, really happy with the way it rides and, you know, the strength of the overall hook. With all that said, you ought to have your tying string attached and ready to rip because we're going to be attaching our first step, our goose bite. We got to make that forked tail. And this can be a little frustrating. You just got to make sure even thread wraps cover all the way down to that hook bend and make that tail really fork out. Like a lot of the flies that I tie, I always think it is so important to follow the order of operations. And there's no exception here. With this fly, you gotta make sure that you tie in your wire before you start tying in your crystal flash. And this is just important for the ending wraps and, and you'll see why later, I promise. But for this little fly in particular, I decided to use some red ultra wire. It's nice and thin, but it still can create great segments when you do inevitably wrap it over. So what you're gonna do, get that locked in place, down to your tail, and then we're gonna move on to our crystal flash. So wrap back up towards your tungsten bead and grab whatever crystal flash you have. In this situation, I really wanted to keep it nice and flashy and I wanted to go with pink. I think it would have paired really well with our red wire and you know, it's all aesthetic. It doesn't really mean anything to the fish in my opinion. It's more so in the eye of the beholder, <laughs> that being the person tying the fly. With everything locked in, trim down your crystal flash and we're about ready to wrap. This is almost done. So what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with my crystal flash. And I'm gonna make touching wraps forward and just slowly try to overlap each of the previous wraps. Not only will that create a great taper, but that's also gonna make a stronger fly in the end. Cause let me tell you, you need a nice strong fly cause this thing's gonna get hammered. And speaking of strong, we're gonna take extra measures to make sure this fly does not fall apart on us. And that's where the wire comes in. Not only does it create great segments, but it also locks in that crystal flash and just creates a super strong fly. Just really good in general, in my opinion. Believe it or not, folks, we are almost done with this fly. The last thing we gotta do is make a nice dubbing noodle and really make a nice plump thorax to make this fly pop. And for that, I'm going to use, well, <laughs> an actual rainbow scud dubbing mix. It's a great little pattern and it, I, I really like the way it contrasts. And for a more traditional Rainbow Warrior style pattern, I think it pairs so well. But like anything, it's a create your own adventure. So yeah, I chose rainbow dubbing in this situation, but I've used green, brown, purple, the whole nine for various patterns and they all seem to work pretty well. So don't think that you only need to stick to this particular color pattern. You can use anything you want in the end. I have never been a fan of using glue or epoxies to finish out a fly. I just, not the way I roll. So what I like to do 
is I like to put two or three good whip finishes on each of my flies to really finish this sucker out and make sure it's ready for our box. If you got 10 minutes and a couple extra materials laying around, I would highly suggest whipping out a few Rainbow Warriors. I, I know I mentioned it before, but this is one of my favorite fly patterns. And you don't really find too many flies that get you the bang for the buck. Tying in general, it's not the most, uh, let's just say, economically efficient thing in the world. It's more for the enjoyment and the satisfaction. But this little Rainbow Warrior, you can get so much out of it. And you can make so many different variants and really using four base materials. We're talking about our tail with the goose by it. You got the wire and the crystal flash in varying colors and sizes for your body. And then finally your dubbing. And you can make that whatever you want. You can add legs, you can add feathers. I mean, you can add all sorts of stuff to make it your own. But the base design, that base Rainbow Warrior model, it's just, it's so money. And in the summertime, I'm running a dry dropper, I'll have a Rainbow Warrior underneath. In the wintertime, when I'm running, you know, some ungodly deep nymph rig dredge in the bottom, yeah, I'll have another Rainbow Warrior on. And if I'm feeling real frisky, I'll put a cheeky tag in on a streamer and I will strip in a streamer with a Rainbow Warrior or a nymph-like critter on the back. And, you know, with regards to the hook, pick your own hook. With regards to the bead, pick your own bead. That's something I say can be interchanged at will. I like a tungsten jig, but that's just me. But if I haven't managed to convince you yet to tie up a few Rainbow Warriors, I don't think there's any convincing. <laughs> More fish for me, it's fine. <laughs> All jokes aside though, let me know down below, what do you guys think of this, uh, let's just say, alternative content? I'm not out on the water, I'm not catching fish, I'm kind of just tying flies and doing voiceovers and <sighs> sometimes I feel a bit limited with my hardware as well as my editing, uh, let's just say, acumen to portray the best fly tying vid. So if this is something you like, I'd love to keep posting this. It's kind of a weekend ordeal. Thursday, Friday comes along and I'm ripping my advice trying to get everything tied up for the new adventure coming. So I'm always doing this and I'd love to share what's in my box with you guys to maybe help you catch a couple more fish. <laughs> so with that being said, I got to scoot. I got to keep filling up my box and get ready for the weekend adventure. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around. Well, if you were seeing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. And that also means I've got a gnarly hike out of this massive valley. But before I boot scoop boogie my way out of here, I just gotta say, if you're binging all the fly out season content, can't get enough, well I got good news. Two things, first, the Instagram, you know, Fishy pics, all the fishy videos. We'll do giveaways every now and again. It's a lot of fun and I'm always willing to talk. So if you got questions, hit me up. It's it's always good. And then second, second would be the Discord or the Cord. This is a whole lot of fun and it's growing super, super fast. So get over there now and be an OG, right? <laughs> we do this monthly fly of the month contest and it is so awesome. Every month, the competition just keeps getting better and better and better. And I will say, this month's winner, good God almighty, that thing is a dimey dime. That would be absolutely perfect for a high country adventure just like this. <laughs> so with that being said, go check out the Instagram, go check out the Discord. If you haven't yet, toss a sub down. I would really appreciate it. So with that, <laughs> I got to scoot. See you next time.